My name is Tom. This is my regal dog, Miles. These are our van life adventures in the excursion studio. Previously, the Neverland Kid gets me involved with an enormous art project. We were tasked with transforming the nightclub formerly known as the Dungeon into a pop art paradise. The multi-wall rough stucco canvas was over 2,500 square feet. Celebrities and pop icons are featured on every wall. Behind the bar is a 16x6 custom framed work of art that adds an entire storyline and gives the club true depth. The finished product looks incredible with all the lights on. When the music starts and the colors change, it's like you're on another planet. Blacklight and strobes create a one-of-a-kind, unique, club-going experience. If you're ever in the UCF area of Orlando, check out Pop Orlando with artwork by the Neverland Kid. Since you're watching this, please click the links, like his pages, and buy his art. Mention these videos and get a discount on your custom order. With the club completed, we headed back up to our home state. We took our time and hit a few places along the way to relax. Since I was home and it was winter, I spent some time with my family. I spent a few beautiful days on the slopes with my cousins, reminisced on the mountainsides we skied as children. I revisited some key places in my old hometown, as well as our capital city. I had a fresh new perspective on life. Spending that much time painting and being creative, I unlocked something that I had long forgotten. It was time for an overhaul. We worked a few cold, rainy nights by campfire. The interior was gutted and repurposed, while the exterior was repainted. I found some old file drawers that I cleaned up and painted. I refinished this old writer's desk I had when I was a kid. Eventually, I would turn this desk into my recording studio. Completely changed the bed layout, which I went into detail in my last episode. I dismembered a Bowflex to create a pull-out workspace. To complete the setup, I reused some plywood and the framing from the bed to create a sink and water storage area. A simple foot pump sends water from my five gallon jug out through this faucet. Everything was starting to come along, but storage was still a problem. I disassembled an old bathroom vanity and created a couple of custom drawers. I added a couple locks and suddenly I had a bunch of storage. I created an overhead storage space out of the last of the framing. A couple of bungee cords held some things down, but for the most part, everything had a place. I added a few custom touches and I was ready to hit the road again. As usual, I hit the road as quick as I could. The next trip was back to Florida to meet another member of the team. This time, my art van had a sidekick. Leon did up what he calls the art taxi, and we hit the road. It's always an adventure, and along the way we hit a couple snacks. A broken window and a radiator malfunction couldn't stop us from getting to the Claremont Fish House. Then it was off to the opening of the club. I enjoyed myself and the energy of all of our hard work. We all went back to Key West and I was off to explore. With the addition of a bicycle, I was able to see a lot more of the cities. I spent my time pedaling through Florida and finding as much artwork as I could. I saw the world with fresh eyes and had an invigorating spirit. I met with my friends the Kitchen Killers and I'll have more on that in the next episode.